Hello everyone, welcome to the United Stand. So, Bruno Fernandes transfer updates. Look, pff, you're going to say I told you so. I told you so. But I am actually thinking about um, phoning the police and um, filing a report for burglary. I, I, feel like, I, feel, I feel like Manchester United fans have been burgled. I, I do. I think we're on the verge of a burglary because basically we, there has been sort of a, a growing story today. It's come from Spain and now it's been reported by Sky Sports News that Barcelona are in the hunt for Bruno Fernandes. And what I would say is this, when you tell the world for three weeks that you're trying to sign Bruno Fernandes on the cheap, should you not be surprised if somebody nips in and tries to do the deal properly? I mean, what we're hearing is that Barcelona, basically, they want to get Rodrigo, I think, from Valencia. So they're going to bring Bruno Fernandes in and loan him to Valencia for a year to get Rodrigo out of Valencia and then obviously give Bruno Fernandes an introduction to, um, to to La Liga and I mean this is look this is no surprise this is now a legitimate story now do I think Manchester United are going to sign Bruno Fernandes still look call me an idiot plenty of people do I still think we're going to get the deal done but I think you can read this in two ways one we've missed out and we're going to walk away like bloody idiots or two Man United the big club have been played like the small club that you are now Manchester United is a massive football club. The name, the history, what it means, the fan base, huge. The people running it, they're not huge. They think they're huge because I run Manchester United. Oh, I'm Ed Woodward. You know, and, and, and they think they're really good. And they think they can bully people. But the reality is, even United fans understand this situation better than Manchester United. We want Bruno Fernandes on the cheap. Sporting Lisbon wants a fair price. We're desperate. Sporting Lisbon potentially just want to keep him till the summer and get a price that's fair. Bruno Fernandes wants to move. What do you do with Sporting Lisbon? Your player wants to go. Manchester United are trying to bully you into a price that's cheap. I know. Let's get somebody else involved. Now, maybe this is a masterstroke by Sporting Lisbon. Maybe this is, look, there's legitimate interest. United, you better up your deal. But however this pans out now, it's been yet another disaster for Manchester United in the transfer window. Because if we do sign him, we're going to pay what they wanted three weeks ago, and we've wasted three weeks. And if we don't sign him, he's going to go to Barcelona. So either way, United have messed this up because they've tried to act the big club, like they did with wan Basaka and like they did with Harry Maguire. But the difference there is nobody wanted wan Basaka or Harry Maguire. Now, they're good players, but nobody else wanted them. As soon as somebody else wants the player that you're after... Your little bully boy tactics of, you know, we're only giving you this much and we're going to drag it out as long as we can. It's absolutely ridiculous if this fails on United's part. Absolutely ridiculous. And part of me thinks, in the long term, is it not better that it doesn't work out? Is it not better that it does just mess up and, and, and we just go into these last few months with no transfers, with the idiots in charge, and we let this pan out how it's going to pan out, which is going to be more and more people unhappy, more and more turmoil. Or do we just, or do you want Bruno Fernandes like me? I just don't know where we're at with it anymore. I don't know where we're at with it anymore because I think it's just a bloody disgrace, an absolute disgrace. And again, we've tried. I can't emphasise this enough. So Barcelona try trying to get in on the Bar on the Bruno Fernandes deal, but let's not forget Manchester United could have done this business three weeks ago. Three weeks ago, we wanted. I've, I've always been worried that another club would come in because he's worth 60 million and we only want to pay 45. So, how this is going to pan out in the next few days, I'm hoping this is Sporting Lisbon playing United like the stupid idiots they are, forcing us to do the deal that we should have done in the first place. I'm hoping that's what this is all about. I'm hoping that there is something that George Mendes is just trying to, you know, push United to, to doing the deal because if it's not, but you remember those famous lines come into my head. We won't be held to ransom. So what if Manchester United now are going to walk away? What if they walk away from, because of it? It's um, it's a, it's a real worry. It's a real worry. And I just feel that wherever we go, um, we're, we're, we're in trouble now. <laughs> we're in big, big trouble. Big, big trouble. Because we've been... Whatever the strategy was, it's not worked, has it? It's just not worked at all. And Zane says, Mark, I think Woodward is the Bernie Medoff of football fraudster and a con man. Well, you know, I'm starting to think similar things, Zane, to be honest with you, because what do United love? 
to tell their shareholders, look at the media interaction we get when we're in for transfers. And what if this has just all been a plan to players over this month? Oh, let's we're never really going to sign him anyway. Let's just pretend we are. Let's get a load and load of interest in the club. But it's going to backfire big time. I feel, I was talking to Jorty about an hour ago. He was like, oh, I don't know, I don't know. Um, and he showed me this article from TVI24, or TVI24, I think they're called, in, in Portugal. I don't know the credibility of them, but they're saying that the deal's very close. But they're quoting 55 million euro again. This has been the deal that United have had turned down already. 55 million euros is 45 million pounds, roughly. This is what United have always been offering. So I don't think that's a development of the story at all. I think the development of the story is either Barcelona are legit legitimately entering this deal late on, or Sporting Lisbon are, are uh, encouraging this story to try and force United to get the deal over the line. And you know the people. You know. You know. You know who the real villain is in this. It's not Sporting Lisbon. It's not Bruno Fernandes. It's not Manchester United fans. It's Manchester United. We are the villains. We are the ones pissing everybody off. Whether it's Bruno Fernandes who wants the move. So, I mean, let, let me put it like this: Bruno Fernandes wants to come to Manchester United. Sporting Lisbon want to sell him to Manchester United. Manchester United fans want Bruno Fernandes. Why is the deal not getting, being done? Because Manchester United won't pay a fair price. So you've got the player, the club and the fans who want this deal done. But Manchester United have been holding it up for three bloody weeks. Because we've got bankers in charge with a capital W. Like, they are ridiculous. Can they not see what they are doing? You've got to get this deal done. I cannot explain it anymore. United fans cannot explain it anymore. You've got people chanting your names at, 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 at grounds. The club is in the mud. This signing won't be enough, but at least it gives some positivity. It gives you some breathing space. And you are still sat there counting your beans, thinking, oh, I don't know whether it's worth it. What do you know about football? Do you not think it's a big clue? When most people, like ex-players of our club, like Nani and Ronaldo, are saying what a good player Bruno Fernandes is. The whole fan base basically wants to sign Bruno Fernandes. But Woodward and the Glazers are going, oh, not too sure. Solskjaer wants you to get him as well. Like, anybody with a football brain is saying, sign Bruno Fernandes, he's exa exactly what you need. But, oh, let's ignore that. The Glazers and Woodward think it's not value for money. I mean, this is the world we live in. Manchester United footballing decisions being made by bankers. I mean... Again, capital W on the front of that and remove the B. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Ronaldo and Nani, Portuguese players, national Portuguese players, one of the best players the world's ever seen, played for Manchester United, saying Bruno Fernandes would be, is going to be a great player of the future. But no, United don't want to pay a fair price. They want him on the cheap. Um, could this be a strategy to make us pay up now, says Aaron Ward? I'm hoping it is. I'm hoping it is, Aaron. That is, that is what I'm hoping the situation is because... But we take the L on that. Not the fans. We get the player we want. But the funny thing is, I really hope we end up paying £50 million for him now because we've, we've dragged this out for three weeks and, if, and they, I think they thought they could bully Sporting Lisbon into a cheap price. And if this bullies us into having to pay a fair price, then fair play Sporting Lisbon. It just shows again, we think we can bully clubs. We're not that club anymore. We're not that club anymore. This might sound terrible, but I hope Barcelona just pay up and get him, put us all uh, United fans out of our misery. Even if we get him now, the enjoyment has just been taken from the deal like every other United fan probably, says Jordan Such. I know what you mean. There is some sort of perverse um, strategy to that. that I, I agree with as well. I, I almost feel like we, the fans, don't deserve to lose out, but the fact that but the owners deserve to be exposed for the idiots that they are. Um, absolutely incompetent owners. If we sign Bruno or not, go to games and sing, but stop giving Glazers the money at the mega store and buying pies. Says Juan Martinez. Uh, Saleh Saleh Ahmed says, imagine the scenes if he goes to Barcelona. United sign no one. What's going to happen at the Wolves game? The atmosphere is going to be even more toxic. And that's why I believe we will get this deal done, because I can't believe that the club will just allow this situation to develop. Can it be a part PR spin, Mark, from Man United as they stole him from Barcelona, looking at the same price as you mentioned, patting their back maybe after signing him? I mean, look, the, the, it, Sky Sports are talking about it. Um, Gillen Balagay has backed it up, which, you know, basically is like the dustbin, dustbin man backing it up. I mean, I don't, I don't put anything on that at all. I think Gillen Balagay, the last time he got a transfer right... Um, I think he was sending a stamp, but uh, sending a letter. But it's just um, use my idea. Get sign out, sign Bruno Fernandez. Mufc trending says Mick uh, 01 HD, and 
Nah, people pay too much to be walking out at 58 minutes. So, so, yeah, I, I, just to, just people who aren't watching, if you don't understand what the 58 is in there, live comments, there's a lot of people typing it out, and I think this is to do with Saturday and walking out on the 58th minute. I mean, look, that's for after Man City to discuss that. It's obviously a very hot topic, um, um, which we'll talk about after the Man City game tomorrow. But um, I don't want to live in a world, uh, a footballing world on Saturday where we haven't signed anybody. I can't, you know... Let me repeat these words of Ole Gunnar Solskjaer about two months ago. We've just got to get to through to January. Are we being lied to, Manchester United fans? Do they just want the pounds out of your pocket? Yes, they do. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer has said these words. We've just got to get through till January. Well, here we are, Ollie, and January's got four or five days left in it. What are we going to be saying now? We've got to get through till the summer because there's no value in the market. I mean, how many more lies do you want to tell? Like, you can't tell a fan base the big of United, as big as United two months ago. You know, we're a bit stretched. We've just got to get through till January. Here we are in January and not sign any players. You, 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 can't, you can't offer up these false promises at the end of the day. I hope, but I hope Barca sign him. We don't deserve his quality. Our club is done. Bruno will be mismanaged by Ali, who'll probably be used as a goalkeeper, says Chris. Duke Mayen. I mean, you've got to wonder about that. I mean, Ali gonna. I mean, what if Bruno Fernandes does just go? You know what? Sod it. I've always wanted to play in the Premier League, but they obviously don't value. I mean, that's the bottom line here. Somebody said to me this morning, you know, you saying that Bruno Fernandes is worth sixty million pounds isn't helping United, is it? Really? And I said, what do you mean? He said, well, you know, United are trying to get him on the cheap for forty-five million, and if we do, that's a great deal for United. But Bruno Fernandes, you know, you're saying he's worth 60 million. You know, Sporting Lisbon might listen to that. I said, well, one, I don't think Sporting Lisbon president watches the United stand. And two, he is worth 60 million pounds, in my opinion. And what if Bruno Fernandes feels he's worth 60 million pounds as well? And the club that's trying to buy him won't go above 45. It's hardly a massive tick in the box to think that's the club that really wants me, but they won't pay what I'm worth. Um, it, it's, 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 it's rubbish. It's rubbish. Wouldn't United's hesitance to pay up place a doubt in Bruno's mind? Do the club really want me? Exactly, Wellman Game, and I've just, I've, I've, I've exactly just said that. And uh, Nyagan says, Mark, what's your thoughts on Ericsson to Inter for 20 million? Wouldn't it have been a good bargain for United for 20 million? Better than Matter and Lingard in the number 10. Yeah, look, I'm not going to start going to town on that. I mean, Spurs have basically won the transfer window and they only started playing it three days ago. They've sold Ericsson and they've got Steven Bergwijn in. We've been playing it for four weeks and we've got nothing. Nothing. No ins, no outs, nothing. Rojo was meant to be going, still here. Matic was going to be going, still here. We were meant to buy a couple of players, no. It's been a, it's been an absolute disaster since the, the, the Erling Haaland deal fell through and it's got worse and worse and worse and worse. But Ericsson didn't want to come to United, so we can't moan about that. And when people start talking about Alexis Sanchez, because he's been trending today, Alexis Sanchez didn't want to come to Manchester United either. He didn't want to stay at Manchester United. Lukaku wanted to leave. There is this big myth that Ole Gunnar Solskjaer is clearing out the Deadwood. The players who are leaving don't want to be here. Maybe I, I think Lukaku is Deadwood, but he wanted to go. I think Sanchez is Deadwood, but he forced the loan move. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer said two weeks before Alexis Sanchez loaned out, he's going to be playing this season. That to me suggests Ole wanted to keep him in the player forced it. I just don't think Solskjaer is the manager people think he is. I, th I think he says things and, the play and players in the club go, oh, no, I don't want to do that. I don't want to be here. And... Uh, and, and use this platform, get hashtag sign Bruno MUFC trending mark, says Mike01HD. Well, you can get trending that if you want to, if you're on Twitter. Just put a tweet out, hashtag sign Bruno MUFC. Um, Aidan Lefebvre says, as amazing as Haaland has been since joining Dortmund, and if Bruno goes to Barcelona and does just as well, man, amazing talents we could have had. Yeah, but we won't be held to ransom, Adam. And we didn't get Haaland, the player Ollie wanted, went to Dortmund. If Barca really are in for Bruno, then what chance have we got? Especially if we ain't going to put the money on the table, says Jordan Such. Well, apparently, Bruno Fernandes does not want to go to Valencia. So although it would be a signing for Barcelona, Barcelona want to loan him to Valencia straight away. He doesn't want that to happen. If Bruno Fernandes goes to Barca, Woodworm will deny we bidded, says Mason Harvey. Look... If this goes the way people think it's going to go and the deal falls through, the one thing I'm always going to be grateful for is the fact that we all know we were in for Bruno Fernandes this January. They can't move away from that, the club. They were in for him. The, tier, the, the, the credibility of the people who've been talking about it. In the summer, they sort of kept that on the lowdown, but they haven't been able to do it this January. So it'll be the second transfer in a row that United have blown the opportunity to sign Bruno Fernandes despite the manager wanting us to sign him. So... 
I still think it will get done because I think Sporting Lisbon are playing United now. I think United thought they could squeeze Sporting Lisbon and bully them into a cheap deal. And I think now Sporting Lisbon have gone, hold on, let's tout him around Europe. Let's get some interest. And you, you just sit there on your cheap offer. And if we get something better, he's going somewhere else or you can up your bid. And I think United are going to go, oh, shit. This doesn't work, does it? It worked on Crystal Palace with Wan Bissaka and it worked with Harry Maguire because no one else wanted them. But, oh, shit. We've tried it for the third time and it's not worked. We thought we could get him on the cheap. We thought we could play the long game. And now we're going to have to pay what we should have paid three weeks ago. Mike Thomas says, For United to think he's worth 100 million less than Jal Felix from the same league is frankly ridiculous. Maybe older, but 25 is very much a prime age. Yeah, Atletico Madrid paid 100 million uh, pounds for Jal Felix. And we won't pay 50 for Bruno Fernandes. Aiden G, if Oli truly cared about our club, he wouldn't be licking the Glazers' arse and following their every word. They're ruining our club. Uh, I totally agree with you on that one. And Ak Arkon UK says, would you rather get Bruno now and still have a bad end to the season or take the L and finish the season in a state and let the club take the backlash that they deserve, forcing their hand in selling or investing heavily? Um... Look, there's a lot of if, buts and maybes there and I would ask this to you lot. Let's ask that question. Would you rather have Bruno Fernandes and carry on with the same owners and the same manager and the same mess or would you rather never get Bruno Fernandes, the club and the season just get worse and worse and the Glazers sell in the summer? I would I would take the latter option. Oh, you know, And that's how fed up I am with Manchester United. I would unselfishly not sign the player I've wanted us to sign for ages to force the Glazers out in the long term. Short term pain, long term gain. That's how fed up I am. You know, the player I've always wanted us to sign, I would say no, if it means the Glazers are gone in the summer. But that's not going to happen. That's not going to happen. And to be honest with you, Manchester United Football Club would be at beyond idiot levels. They would be, I mean, look, basically, there is a player that you can sign that is going to get the fans a little bit happier than they are now. Why would you not do that? It, from a business point of view, it makes no sense not to do it. And Chicorito Hernandez says, it hurts being a United fan. We are worse than the Moyes era and we suffer from incompetence from the club. Tell me, how can we still have faith in Manchester United? We always have faith in Manchester United because that's the club we support. The badge is what unites us. The, the club and how it's run, we're just being run by strangers, imposters. Thieves, burglars, whatever you want to call them. That that you know, you we, the owners of this football club, the CEO, the people who are running it. They're not, they're not what I include in Manchester United. Manchester United is, you know, it's a religion to a lot of people. It, it it's a badge. It, it it's a way of life. It's a football club. That's why people are angry. I think some people get confused about this. They're like, oh, you know, you're slagging off the club. No, not slagging off the club. Manchester United Football Club is very different to people who own that club and who are running it into the ground. They're running it into the ground. It's not speculative. It's not. A, it's not a shot in the dark to say I think United is being run into the ground. Look at look. You could you could write a book. You could write a list of things that has gone wrong at this club. I mean, look look at the Alexis Sanchez thing. We pay him four hundred grand a week. He's the best paid player in Premier League history. How does somebody do that and still be in a job on top of everything else they've done? Uh, at this point, I don't care anymore, says Yaz Asad. And that's the worst kind of feeling, is when fans don't care anymore. And um, look, this Barcelona story seems to be gathering pace. Sporting Lisbon, if they get rid of him to Barcelona and we miss out, it's incomprehensible from how strong a position we were in three weeks ago. But would anybody be surprised? Would anybody be surprised? William Jolly, Wood wouldn't even get wan -Bissaka and Maguire on the cheap. He had to pay the price in the end. Um, so why is he putting on this show with Bruno? Exactly. Exactly. And I tell you what, we won't have this situation in the summer with Bruno Fernandes because other clubs will move for him in the summer. Other clubs that aren't confined by financial play, fair play after June the 30th will, will move for Bruno Fernandes. So United have had a clear go at this and they've tried to rob Sporting Lisbon. And now it looks like Barcelona could rob Manchester United of the opportunity because we've been lazy. You know what it is? You know what it is? It's like it's like you've it's like you're about to buy your dream car. You know, they've only got one in the shop. You you go to the local Ferrari or Porsche dealership. There's the car. You walk in and the and the dealer says the price is this. It's £50 million pounds for this car. All right, it's gold-plated, whatever. You've got the money. I'm going to give you £45 million. No, we want £50 million. 
You'll give it me for 45. Don't you worry about it. And then you go and tell everybody. There's this brilliant gold-plated Ferrari. It's 50 million quid. I really am desperate for it, but I ain't paying any more than 45. And I'm going to play the long game. And you can tell everybody. Put it on eBay. Tell them everything. Tell everybody what I'm doing. Put it on the BBC News. I want this car. I'm desperate for it. Otherwise, I've got to walk to work. I need this gold-plated Ferrari, but I'm only going to pay them 45 million. But it's a bargain at 50, but I'm only paying 45. And you tell the whole world about it. And then suddenly someone goes, hold on a minute. It's a gold-plated Ferrari. They're, they're willing to spell it for 50 when it's probably worth 60. Sod it. I'm buying it. You know, and that's, that's United for you. They've got a really good deal there to be done. They told the whole world about it and then refused to pay that little bit more to get him. And then somebody else could swoop in and get it. And that's, that's United all over, isn't it? You know, leak like a sieve and lose a deal. We'll have to wait and see. We'll have to wait and see what happens. But uh, Mark, two days ago on Bruno to United was 1-3. to three. Two days ago, it's 2-1. to one And Barcelona, 11-10. to 10. 10 betting rates. Really, really wrong. This is real, says Angel and Soul Soul. Look, if this deal doesn't happen, and welcome to Darren McCowell, latest member of the United Stand Member Club. Um, Oli looks right twice. Transfers obviously, obviously awkward for him, says JNFN. If this doesn't work, there are so many big ramifications for United. Um, Oli wanted Haaland, lost out to Dortmund. Oli wants Bruno Fernandes, publicly humiliated, he goes to Barcelona. If it runs out like that, and that's how it ends up, I don't know where we go from here as a football club. Personally, oh look, you know, I've seen Arsenal fans. Ah, Goldbridge, you're taking the L. Look at all the videos you've done. But... Only the, only the most idiotic United fan would say there wasn't a legit reason to think we were signing him. You know, Simon Stone, all the credible outlets, Sky Sports, James Cooper, everybody saying this deal was close, they expect it to get done. All the eggs are in one basket, could go to the wire, but I think it will get done. You, you know, everybody's been making it very clear that United wanted to get this deal done. If they don't get it done, it's not a United fan, L. It's a disappointment. It's a disgrace. But it's not us, United fans, that have messed this deal up. It's the club, again. Um, I don't think they'll recover from this. I don't think they'll recover from this. Um, Mark, why are we, the fans, treated like utter trash by our owner? Do we not matter anymore? Does our history not matter? Yaza said, because they think they're better than you. They think they know better than you because they want to line their pockets. Isn't it a trick to get Manchester United to raise their bid? Came in late, says Shyam Illa. I hope it's that. I hope it is that. And Mark, if we had saved all the extra wages we gave our players wrongly, United won't be in the situation now. That's a sackable, fireable offence. Sack Ed, says Nayagan. And Ramit Sandhu says the incompetent owners should realise that the stance of not being able held to ransom should be taken af after you have won the league or Champions League. Not when everyone knows the state we are in that we need players. Exactly. I've said this before. I've said this before. You know, you cannot say you're not being held to ransom when you're in a position of desperation. And United are in a position of desperation. But we think we're still a big club. That's the problem. United fans know that United is a big club, but we know we're not a big club anymore. We know we're going through through turmoil. Our owners still think we're a big club that can bully people. I wish the NFL was still on. I'd buy Buccaneers uh, tickets just to go hold anti-Glazer signs up and sing Glazers out, says Joseph Woodbury. Um, but yeah, we'll have to wait and see, won't we? Um, we'll have to wait and see what's going to happen. Please do smash a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Ross Gallagher says, this club is a disgrace and I just don't know where we go from here. And James Waddingham says that, imagine being out to Leeds for a striker, says James Waddingham. Oh yeah, I know. I know. Uh, you could imagine anything with United though. You could imagine absolutely anything. Um, but you know, there is another theory floating around. It's early days, so I'll just throw it out there and leave you with it to have a think about it. But apparently there is a theory out there that Solskjaer will be gone in the summer, sacked, and United don't want to spend any money. They did it with Van Hal. They didn't send in, spend in the January. They let him see out the season, then he was gone. But as I said, Bruno Fernandes should still come in because Bruno Fernandes, any manager would want. So it doesn't make sense anyway. William Jolly, what if Barca do a Liverpool and sign him tonight, tomorrow, just to show how incompetent our board is? Look, this is just the start. It is not the end. We've got three days to see what happens with this deal. Um, Manchester United need to get their finger out and pay a fair price or they're going to lose out. At this stage, if we lose out, 
it wouldn't surprise me. But I still think United will get the deal done. Maybe I'm the biggest idiot on the planet, you know, but I still think they'll get it done because you know why I think they'll get it done? I don't think they can afford not to. If they don't sign Bruno Fernandes, there's no time to get anybody else, which means they're going to come out of the transfer window with no midfield. We're going to be playing weekend midweek every bloody week from the middle of February to May. We haven't got the squad for this. We haven't got the squad for the forward line either. We cannot not get players in. If we just bring bloody Slimani in, I'll tell you what, I'm going to cry live on air. This deal has to be done. And that's why I believe it will be done. Because it's total, it's, an, it's incompetence on a whole new level to not appease your fans and bring in a player that the manager needs. I have to believe we'll get this deal done. And I just think it's Sporting Lisbon bullying United, which I applaud them for, to pay a fair price. Jordan Such, look what Spurs put on the table for Nendel and Dembele. We could get Bruno for cheaper than that. It's remarkable. Exactly. Thanks everyone for watching. Smash a like on the video. Slightly earlier show tonight, half past seven tonight with another update because I'm doing the Villa versus Leicester watch along on That's Football. So I'll see you at half past seven tonight if something doesn't happen before. Um, thanks for watching. I'll speak to you all soon.